Hey guys, before we start, um, I just want to say thank you for letting me make uh, the videos that I make right now. Given everything that's going on in the world, I have links in the descriptions uh, so you can donate and educate yourself on what's going on both in uh, keeping your mental health but also Black Lives Matter uh, as well as Pride Month, uh, the Trevor Project, uh, so many links to so many things. Uh, just remember uh, while you're being mindful of others, take care of yourselves, please. Thanks again for letting me make this and I hope you enjoy. Anyway, back to the show. Also, this is a new studio. I moved. That happened. So if it looks different, there's a reason. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill and this is Trying to Stand where I try new things in pop culture because I've been living under a rock. I just want to say before I start, uh, thank you Doty for <laughs> watching and shouting out my Trying to Stand Doty video. Thank you all of you guys for recommending her music to me. Your video is what got me past 100,000 subscribers, so I want to say thank you Dodie, and most of all, thank you each and every one of you guys for supporting me, encouraging me to be open, to try new things, to, to explore new music and shows and occasional games and all that good stuff, and I just want to say thank you guys. It's a really intense and stressful time. Links in the description, speaking of those stressful times. Y'all promised me some happy Dodie, so that's just what I want right now. I would give anything to feel like a 6 out of 10 right now, so. And uh, since it is Pride Month, I wanted to start with I'm Bisexual, a coming out song. Dodie ad. Is there an ad in this? Or is Dodie the ad? Are we the ad? The real ads are the friends we made along the way. I just need something nice right now. Something uplifting. Oh God, that's so loud. Oh, oh, it was actually sponsored. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. And I love you, so I'd love for you to Oh. Yes, I'm bi, and I'm proud to be me. Yes. Just in case you <laughs> Pretty sure it's not a trend. <laughs> yes! I have experimented. Yes, Dodie! <laughs> Dodie, you don't have to explain sh to me or anyone. <laughs> I love that. Oh, God, so loud. Oh. Dodie's attacking me with ASMR. Happy Pride Month to you too. I did enjoy it, Dodie. I did. I enjoyed it so much. I'll do a video on it. Oh, that was so loud. Yes, Skittles. You bye like me. Let's have a little bye five. Oh, sorry. Bye five made me cry. I. Damn it. I just needed something pleasant and happy, and that makes me so happy. And that was so pleasant. And I loved like how excited it felt, even just musically. Say it and enter into a community, but also be at terms with and open with that part of yourself. And it just, I don't know, very inviting for everyone to explore, acknowledge, and then be open with who they are. That just was very giving and very lovely. And God damn it, I really needed that right now. <sighs> that was almost three years ago by the time this video drops. So happy, happy uh, triple by anniversary. It sounds like a triple bypass, like you had a heart condition. <laughs> Her heart, I don't know. The heart condition, love, yes, bye, yes, vibes, yes, pride. I don't know, just how excited she was and, and the music too, like the little flourishes and stuff. Like it just felt so happy and giddy and excited. And I don't know, I really liked that. Yay Skittles for sponsoring that. Oh, I just needed some happy Doty vibes really bad right now. And happy Pride Month to everyone who's checking it out out and not out yet. I love you. I see you. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> I can't think about her. I'm gonna cry more. <laughs> I just want to say before listening to this, there were so many comments just saying, no, 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 no. Here's happy Doty songs. There's happy Doty songs like in the middle. So thank you. I appreciate you guys looking out for me. They really made me happy. But yeah, uh, this is Dodie's In The Middle. Dodie, why don't you just meet me in the middle? That's not this at all. Not even a little. What are you doing? Ha <laughs> I love it. Haven't seen him much at all. It could be weird, but I think I'm in. Ooh. Yo, this song fucks. Dodie! 
Yes! Okay, polyamory vibes. Ooh! Oh, hell yeah! Yes, vibes. Oh! <laughs> Have you tried the cake? God? How many times will you be offered a piece of cake? There are only so many chances to take. Oh, Hell yes! I loved that so much, especially that ending. F***ing live your life. No, YouTube, I'm not gonna listen to 6 out of 10 again right now, Jesus. I like that a lot! Oh, you guys nailed it! Ooh, that gave me so many of the good vibes. Oh, this is, uh, wrong in the middle lyric sheet. Uh -huh. I love that feeling of like, you know, oh, like, try new things, let yourself live, and just thinking about like, well, how many times in your life do you get a chance to actually like, do something so specific? How many times are you going to have that perspective about you when living your life? You know, you only have so much time to do things that you want to do. But like, I love the, the sound of that. Like it had a nice funky kind of beat to it. I love the setting of it where it was so dull and quiet, muted, but after that speech at the end, made me feel like nobody was there because they were like at the wedding, including Dodie as the assigned wedding singer because they were out living their lives. You know, the people who were in the room for the wedding were very stifled. And then as soon as they opened themselves up to the idea of this, uh, Menage out they jumped through a Rick and Morty polyamory portal and they left too and I don't know I, I kind of like that idea of like how stifling a traditional Relationship can be and you know, even if it's about Considering these things before you settle down to make sure that this is the traditional is the route you want to go on You know what I mean? Like keeping yourself open to both possibilities and hell yeah vibes. That first shot you get of just like the goatee of the wedding singer that's lip syncing Dodie's stuff. I don't know why, it just, it made me laugh, it made me smile. It made me feel like this feeling, it's conceivable by like anybody. Flirty and fun, it was just very funny, but it also, I think it very much does kind of encourage you to open your mind a little bit, or at least imagine these possibilities, because it ends with a sarcastic slow clap lady thinking about things and kind of staring at the camera, like as if she had regrets, or she was also a stifled human being that just watched two other people go be free, but also be free together. Your relationship is defined by the parameters of you and your partner or partners. It was very fun, but I also think it had a lot of elements about progression and understanding, encouraging you to, if not be open to it for yourself, it be accepting of it for others. That song fucked. It had such a good like groove and beat to it, but it also was a lot of fun. It felt like just the baseline itself even was kind of giving me a little you know what I mean? Is it the idea that Dodie was supposed to sing at a wedding? She's been with both people? Yeah, I'll be in the middle while you two get along. You've got so much in common. Talk about your taste in women. What if there was a couple, or maybe there is a couple that like both have been into her or she's been into both of them. I thought the video was really well done as well. I loved, like I said, like you could see the stifled culture around them and how traditional everything was and then seeing them leave through that portal. Like it's like, you know, there's a whole nother world out there of being, but also being with someone when I'm being together. Yeah, you know I'm I'm one for the overly passionate. I like you and I loved him. We could all be the best of friends. Okay, I think it's her trying to tell a joke because she is at a wedding or she's around a couple where she used to be with both people involved in this couple and she's trying to make a joke to break the ice, if that makes sense. Because then when you pair it with the video and the idea of like, well, if everyone could, could let go of their preconceived notion of what a relationship is, they'd be able to laugh about this with her. So if it promotes an understanding while deconstructing the barriers that we as a society have put up around the idea of a couple. Like why can't it just be funny and amusing that the two of them at different times or at the same time, who knows, used to date her and now she's at the wedding or she sees them. This situation would be more comfortable if there were less boundaries. So then in the video, it's hoping for those boundaries to kind of be gone so you can laugh about it together and be friends and it, it, there, there is no discomfort because we now look at relationships differently like that. Like we can acknowledge who we've been with, different sexualities forming a unique paradigm. Like I think it's just about wanting that change and understanding 
and then it would remove this kind of discomfort and awkwardness in these exchanges. Does that make any sense? If we looked at relationships a different way, then her bumping into this couple where she used to be involved with both of them at separate times or together, it wouldn't be so awkward. Why are these social constructs and boundaries? Why can't we all just laugh and enjoy each other? Finding it's funny, but wishing that more people found it funny or like we could allow ourselves to find that kind of thing funny on both ends of it. Or at least that's where the connection is for me. I loved it. I love the video. I love that song. Thank you guys. A funky group to f to. A funky group to f to. What? Oh, this came out June 10th of last year. I knew it. Six out of 10 is really about June 10th. That's a significant date in Dodie's discography. Her dodography. Hashtag dodography. Anyway, this is guiltless. I'm nervous. Let's keep the happy train going, guys. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There is a wall in my life built by you. F but I'm no bitter, I'm just tired. Oh me. You know. <laughs> it's baggage. Woo! Dodie! Thank you for that note, Dodie. Ooh, don't say it's genetic. It oh sh No use getting angry at the way that you wired. Mm. Don't say it's genetic. It's oh God! I don't think I can watch Jody fall into the shadow realm like this, guys. Oh God! I don't know what's more upsetting: fake smiley Jody or like angry Jody. No, stop. Don't look at me. Dodie, stop looking at me, please. Oh, thank God it cut to black. Oh, man. That's so devastating, but I absolutely loved that. Like, I, there, I don't know. There's something about when you relate to a song and, like, her voice is so soft and gentle and lovely. Like, it, it feels like someone is understanding you as opposed to being told how that must have felt. You know what I mean? Like, it just makes it so much more inviting when you find it relatable and she's so good at that like even down to like the i'm not bitter i'm just tired being so worn down asking if it's genetic while she's being handed that like huge old style trunk being worried about like personal things family drama while you're dealing with that suddenly that voice pops in your head of like what if that's gonna happen to me which is so emotionally real but also it's scientifically like it's medically valid like it's such a real thing to be afraid of it reminds me of like that kind of that piling on and piling it on and i think that's why we had the barbershop quartet foursome of Dodie's all processing it a different way. I'm not bitter, I'm just tired. Like that excuse of like, no, I'm not upset. No, no, I'm fine. Wanting to not deal with it anymore. One more log on, on the fire of the stress and the worry that you have in just your day to day. There's something about that trunk and opening it up and that like, that smoke. Oh, don't say it's genetic. Oh, hey. Is it real? You believe you're guiltless. Oh, I can tell you believe you're guiltless, but I don't think I'd feel better if I opened your eyes. Like, yeah, like just not wanting to unload back on someone who unloads on you, like possibly even narcissistic or toxic people and just that feeling of like futility and like, why well, rock the boat? I, 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 I I understand that feeling, especially under this vein of genetics. So then again, family, like there's always options. I'm not gonna sit here and say that there's not, but it's that feeling of like feeling so helpless or like, what's the point? Trying to forgive somebody, but it's hard to because like, there's always gonna be that kind of pit in your stomach and your heart and your gut that just that person kind of like, I don't wanna say gets away with it, but that person doesn't even know it happened. They're not acknowledging it and you have to sit there and take it on along with everything else. And also now you're putting on all these facades for people just to maintain the peace, you know? That one-sided version of it, cause you know, that person's not acknowledging it, doesn't see it in themselves, doesn't think anything's wrong, trying, like it's harder to forgive somebody completely on your own. It's like someone had a breakthrough and realized the situation's a lot more intense than they thought. God damn it. <laughs> If that wasn't my 2019, I don't know what is, you know? Like realizing what the problem is, but then also realizing it's always been this way. That's just who this person is. I really love that song. I thought it was very lovely. I think there's also something very beautiful in the idea of turning it into something helpful for other people who might be experiencing something similar. 2019 Dodie really gets me, but 
so is 2017 Doty and all the other Dodies. It's fine. Like all these different possibilities, all these different angles and trying to figure out what to do. It's, that's just life. It, that's, it's just honest and real. I really like that. I, this is a happy one, right? Absolutely smitten. This isn't, oh, I was so smitten and then something happened to that kitten. What, do I only get to be happy once during this video? Ah, uh, twice. I really liked your coming out video. She's absolutely smitten. She'll never let you go. <laughs> oh God. Oh, this makes me so happy. It's just so cute and nice and wholesome. Oh, never let you go. Ooh, uh, that was a pretty rev. Oh, um, that was so sweet. I really loved that. I don't know, it made me think of like a picnic or a party outside. I'm gonna sound like a real friggin' nerd here. Lord of the Rings, Bilbo's 111th birthday. You know, like everyone's just outside like tapping their toes and having fun and like just the innocence of like being a little kid and like just, you know, you feel it in like the, that like bass drum that just kept like hitting every once in a while, like just how innocent and youthful and like sweet it is for like how, how kids take in having a crush or, and it has such like an upbeat energy, like just how excited that little girl is, like how excited each one of us as human beings when we felt that feeling for the first time, you know? And just how innocent and pure, like it all starts out where you're just this like big beam of light that goes, you know, I think this person is lovely. And then that's just that, just how unfiltered you are as a little kid. Celebrating that and wanting to recapture that or bottle it in a song. You know, it just, it felt very open and very, also very excited and fun. I loved like, like I said, like the drum when it would kick in, it felt like a heartbeat, like exploring that feeling for the very first time. And you know, when someone like, oh look, like she likes you, like even like, like a little, like a toddler, you know, like staring wide-eyed at somebody for the first time. I get those looks from my friend's kids a lot because I have a beard. And just like that like, whoa, looking like a like a baby. A bewilderment about the world around them. And wanting to celebrate and acknowledge how much we all as human beings used to take in the world when we were young, you know? Like, like I said, so unfiltered like that. Even being like older and like the first time like you had a crush, the first time you fell in love, just taking that in for a second, like the first time you looked at a pool, you might've compared it to the ocean. Like that kind of thought, if that makes any sense. You know, back when you used to believe in magic, before you find out about special effects and you thought that Star Wars was real. That's, that was mine. I always thought Star Wars was real. But I think it's just about taking that in and like watching a human being grow and interact with the world, but also reflecting on how you interacted with the world for the first time. And you know, you don't know, like you're not jaded yet. You know what I mean? I don't know how it's, I don't know how to word it without sounding so cynical. The world hasn't like stepped on you quite yet. Even if it is and you don't realize it at the time, you know? I love that and it just, like I said, it made me think of like the outdoors and like pretty flowers outside. Like, I don't know, like, like nature. Like it just felt like being, like being outside. I miss outside a lot. <laughs> you know, that youthful energy, believing in fate, all that good stuff. I loved it. Oh, okay. Two upbeat energy songs and a couple of small cries. I feel like we're doing really well. We're closing out the night with Would You Be So Kind? Question mark. I'm already a little emotional because I, I wanted to do Dodie this week. Uh, so it would be in the middle of June. Uh, so I could use more yellows uh, in the thumbnail. The goal is by the end of June, I've made a, a rainbow mosaic. If you made it this far, you deserve to know that. But yeah, we're closing out the night with uh, Would You Be So Kind? I can't tell from how it's uh, framed, where it's paused right now, if if Dodie's like pissed or trying to get her, her pitch or... Song now means something completely different to what it meant when I wrote it. Oh, sh**. Uh, disappointing. Oh no! Oh no, Dodie! I have a question. I have a question too. I know you know that I like you, but that's not enough. I don't know how to feel right now. Gonna be some butterflies somewhere. Oh, but you, that was so lovely. And the harmonies. You need some time. Mmm. God damn. Please fall in love with me. Mmm. God damn. Woo! God damn it. I'm sorry, Dodie. There's something about when you're upset that <laughs> just makes me so happy. It, mm. Gotta be some butterfly somewhere. Oh, f yes.
It was also very jarring to be reminded that like, this is her YouTube channel. And so it had like that very vloggy, sharp cut intro, remove gaps or awkward silences. I was like, oh God, that's right. Dodie, Dodie's a, a YouTuber first. It's, it's interesting going in when she already has like millions of subs and like EPs and stuff. This is the closest I can come to like understanding why I have such a, why I have such a positive reaction to when she feels something negative, but she makes musical choices like you would in a show tune, like in a very emotionally intellectual way. Cause it was um, towards the end, but she like went up right there. It was the, the, the interval, yes, but it was the note and then the run down with it. You could feel that desire, that that frustration, heartache, that confusion, like all balled up into one moment. It feels so human. There's nothing I can do but sing to express it. It's needed in show tunes. It's not needed in, in general music, but when, when, when an artist does it like that, it opens themselves and she does it so well, making it just seasoned and spicy enough for me when she's also upset. I don't know what it is. Like, Toadie, I'm sorry. Whenever you are upset, I am in heaven. I think it's because I'm upset. Misery loves company, yada, yada. Guarantee you I'm not the only one who feels that way. But there's just something. I understand now when people go like, oh, Bill, you're so funny when you're, it's so engaging when you're crying. You're so funny when you're mad. Like, I get it. I wonder if that was real, that beginning of it. I hope not. I, only nice things. It's interesting listening to that for the first time right after Absolutely Smitten. Absolutely Smitten, admiring a younger, like, child and how open, unfiltered, and like I was saying, not jaded a person is when they're so much younger. I feel like this is now the reality of, like, being older, being frustrated, having felt, like, heartache or fear of heartache, knowing that that's a possibility, how much more... <laughs> Uh, seasoned or veteran you are to being hurt in the world, wanting anything but to feel that feeling again. I'm happy you went through with still putting the song out there because it, it has that feeling of you sent a letter to someone, but then you got a text or you found out that they changed their relationship status and it's like, oh great, well that's out there now. Like it has this like frustrated, like almost like someone's understanding as they're saying it that like this is a bad idea or it's not gonna go the way that you hope, you know, already resigning yourself to not being with this person, but you're already in the middle of expressing yourself. Mid, mid, I almost said midstream, mid tangent, the tempo of it even, it feels a little more frantic, like with her ukulele going, like it feels off. Beginning of a spiral, but still wanting to get through it. Yes, the intro of the video does also greatly adhere to that feeling, but like owning it. You know, she could have re-recorded it, but like being so honest with it and letting that feeling evolve with the song or that intro could just be to articulate the story of the song. I don't know. It felt real, but I loved, like I said, like her inflections musically, like you can, you can feel like the longing. You can feel someone try and fail in a sense, you know, it, it's heartbreaking, but also I think it encapsulate, encapsulates a very relatable and real feeling experience, you know? I don't know. Thank you. Like that's so personal. I like you when you're happy, Dodie, but god damn, when you are upset, it adds just the right amount of cinnamon on top. I don't know how else to word it. I keep thinking about food. I think I'm hungry. You don't lose that electricity when when the song is happy or the mood is positive, and that makes me I'm so happy to hear that. Can you imagine if I only liked someone's sad songs? Like people are like, you know, no hits, B sides only, and I'm like, no happy songs. I love how open she is, both with even starting with uh, her coming out video. I love that she did it through song. That makes me so happy. How she articulates her feelings, how she illustrates the world, how she can admire and appreciate the innocence of a child, but then also really paint the frustration and the embarrassments of life and love. Like it's, that was really interesting to hear those back to back. I kind of loved it that way. Absolutely smitten. And then would you be so kind? I really loved that. That playlist was dope, but I, I loved that and guiltless, like, God damn. I really loved all of these. Oh, in the middle was such a slap and banger bop. Thank you guys. Usually you guys just send me more sad shit. I just cry my eyes out on YouTube. I think I think I needed a break emotionally. 
Even though I cried a little bit, I think we all kind of needed one right now. I love how she can take in, process, and extend outward her feelings and experiences or what she or what she observes to the rest of us. I absolutely love it. Damn. But uh, but yeah, there you guys go. What do you guys think? What do you think of the songs? What do you think of my thoughts? Are there uh, more Doty songs you want me to check out? Other artists you want me to listen to? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Subscribe if you want more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for encouraging me to still make escapism content for you guys during these crazy and insane and devastating times. There's so much going on in the world. Like I said at the beginning of the video, links in the description, please guys. Stay informed, stay aware of what's going on, be mindful and respectful of others, and while you're doing that, remember to take care of yourselves, please.